Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ivan Rami from Bot and Cop Bot Support back again with another video. This video will cover my stellar setup for target console drops. Just this morning, I was able to cook a few Xboxes, so I'm really excited to bring you guys this new video of my setup. First, though, I want to give a huge shout out to Bot and Cop. If you need a cook group that will notify you before drops happen in a community to help you cook, you should consider joining Bot and Cop. Bot and Cop has monitors and alerts for every site such as Amazon, Walmart, Target, and Best Buy that will notify you the second high demand items are in stock. We also have a bunch of guides and one-on-one -on -one bot support you need to succeed. We're also offering free ACO for our paying members and Bot and Cop. So we're running sites such as Walmart, Amazon, and Best Buy. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to drop down below a free three-day trial so you guys can join Bot and Cop. With that being said, we can jump into the setup. All right, so the first thing you'll need for Target is accounts. And to get your accounts onto Stellar, you're going to have to download some extensions to download some cookies or tokens. Let's, for this example, let's go ahead and go with tokens. So on this, I'll leave the link down below. But this is the official Stellar Docs. I'm going to go ahead and go to Access Token Harvester. Just click on this. And then up here on the right, it's going to say download all. Download that. You see I already did it a couple times, but I'm going to do it again. All right, so once it's downloaded, click here, show in folder. Right click on the, uh, the zipped file and click extract all. Say extract. That's good. You can close that. So now when we go into our extensions, so to go to that, you have to go to settings. Then on the left side, it will say extensions. Load on pack. I have one right here already, but I'm going to remove this so you guys can see. Yep, remove. Load on pack. Downloads, the one I just had. You have to click the folder within the folder. A little bit confusing, but um, it's simple after you, you know, you know. But um, so once that's loaded, that's good. You can go ahead and pin this. If you look at it, it's going to say zero. That's because you have um, no tokens at all right now, which is fine. So to get tokens, all you have to do is log in into your account. Click sign in. Go ahead and put your email and password. Keep me sign in and sign in. So now if you look up here, it's going to say one. Click download. Now it's going to bring you to a notepad. You're going to need this, so make sure you have that open and then copy it. So let's go back into Stellar. So to add it, we'll have to go into our accounts tab uh, where it says sessions. So let's go here, add session, name this YouTube. And it should be down here. Yep. So it's going to ask you for your email and password again. So make sure you put that in there correctly. Um, one thing to note, don't have any extra spaces or anything like that. It can cause errors for you, which is bad. Login proxy. This is up to you if you want to put one. For this video, I won't put one. But typically, if you're running like a bunch of accounts and you have it, like logged in into one specific proxy, you're, you're going to need to use that same proxy again. For this video, I won't put anything. And then finally, it's going to ask for the access token. We're going to have to grab that again. Make sure you copy it. Paste that. Just do token login. And for um, fingerprint, so if the difference between these dynamic is it'll switch it up and static will stay the same. If you're having a lot of success on one account, just leave it at static. Otherwise, maybe Dy Dynamic can improve your checkout flows. Click login, and it should say successfully logged in. Click save. So we got that YouTube one in here. We can go back to the task. Okay, so for the task, you're going to have to make some monitors and hype to task. Those are the what worked. Um, if you look down here, I'll show you exactly my uh, my setup right here. This is what I had. I'm going to go ahead and go back and do it fresh for you guys. 
Let's make our monitors first. I would recommend two to four monitors. The skew, I grabbed that from Bond Cop. Put that in there. For delay, um, for this video, I'm going to go 6,000. And then for the next monitor I make, I'm going to do 7,000. So they're staggering. Monitor type, you have to use pickup or pickup add to cart. Um, if you use pickup add to cart, you're going to have to know your store IDs, which the docs show you how to find that. Um, but personally, I just stick with pickup so I don't have to worry about store IDs. Zip code, put in your zip code that you are wanting to check out around. And then radius, I just go ahead and put 50. Reset delay, 5,000. Hit create. Stay here. Changes to 7,000. And you should be good for that skew. Now let's go ahead and make the hype 2 task. On your profiles, be careful. You will have to ensure that your email is matching with your target session email. So one, one way I know that it's linked is I put like a T in front of the profile so I know this is a target profile so I'm gonna go ahead and click this also for your profiles I'd recommend you guys to use red cards which the guide shows you how um, let me pull that up I'm gonna link this down below but if you go all the way to the top and use using red cards it's gonna explain step on step on how to add your red card into stellar I don't want to show that information so I'll just leave this link down below it's not too hard finally for um, monitors uh, the ISPs, you're going to want to use, uh, sorry, for the proxies, you're going to use ISPs. Those are quicker and they won't waste data. Fulfillment type, use pickup. Skew, I'm going to put that in again. Delay, you can actually have this lower. I only had it at 500 and it was fine. Quantity, only one. You can only get one per account, uh, per drop. And finally, you're going to have to match this with pickup and your radius is 50. Checkout delay. Actually, we won't put anything in checkout delay. You don't really need this, but if you want to, you can put like 500. Watch tasks. You need to make sure this is checked off. That way it uses your monitors. And then override payment. It'll use the profile um, payment that you have already on Stellar. Make sure you have that. And then hit create. Now if I start these tasks, it'll say proxy ban. Um, don't be too worried about that. It's just Stellar giving you those codes, even if your proxies aren't actually banned. Um, like I said, I still checked out even though I was getting this uh, message. And finally, this hype2 task is going to say waiting for monitor ping. So just like that, that's like the simplest way to set up your task for Stellar. But there's actually a new thing that Stellar just added, and we'll go over that right now. So if we go back to the docu documentation, scroll back up, there's going to be some add to cart cookies. Again, you're going to have to download this. It's a little bit different site. Hit download. Show in folder. Extract all. Close that. And extensions uh, just disable the other ones so they don't interfere and then load unpacked let's go to my downloads the recent one you have to go within the folder again so this is the new one that they have so what they're saying with this new harvester is basically it's gonna generate some add to cart cookies uh, which are only valid for 30 to 2 hours 30 minutes to 2, two hours before so um, you want to make sure you, you do this before a drop happens. So this can be a little bit tedious, but if you guys are willing to increase your odds and like are on your computer ready to do that, make sure you do this. So right here, it's just telling you download, extract it like I just told you. And then finally, once you're ready, go to target and it's telling you to find an in stock item like the fire stick. I'm going to go ahead and click this. And I'm going to pin, pin this as well so I can take a look. It should say zero right now. But now we're going to add it to cart. And it should say something went wrong. So that's okay. Right here, we're having that same, um, that one saying there's one uh, cookie in there. So we're going to download that. 
hit copy now into uh, Stellar. Let's go ahead and go down here to settings and go to cookies. Add a cookie and then paste that in there. So now I have one cookie there for add to cart. Basically, like I said, it's supposed to make your um, checkouts go way more faster and smoother. So if you're having problems with your accounts, I would recommend you guys to do that. But I wouldn't say this is 100% necessary because I did check out without adding this cookie. But it's something to play with that you guys can use um, and hopefully uh, cop on your own. So hopefully you guys found this useful. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see next and I'll see you guys later.